Hello and uh, welcome to the first recording of SEOSID.com. This will be the uh, first video in the page optimization series. We'll be going through the title tag and the uh, meta tags in this particular video and uh, I'll be discussing its importance. Now, um, first thing we'll do is uh, create ourselves a page so you'll see how the um, meta tags and the uh, tile tags are used. So we'll open up a new notepad text document and we'll write in the HTML tag, then the header tag, and the tile tag. All right. This here is the title tag. And we'll close it off. And we can have the body tag as well. This here is the body text. And I'll uh, we'll close that off here as well. Okay, now we save this file as uh, let's say text.html and make sure you change the uh, save as type to all files so it doesn't add a .txt to the end. And there we go. We've got a text.html file there. Just load it up. And we can see. Uh, it's got this here is the title tag on top as well as on the tab bar and uh, this here is the body text. So now what you want to do when you're uh, optimizing your page for search engines is to ensure that um, the keywords, the important keywords that you're after, the primary keywords are placed in the title tag and you also want to make sure that uh, what you want to show users um, who are searching on the search engines um, are enticed by uh, or um, are given a fairly good indication of um, what your web page uh, might uh, give them just by looking at your top tag and let's run a search guitar lessons just to see how the title tag comes into play so make it free guitar lessons Okay, as you can see, number one result is about.com. Next one here is Zentao. And as you can see in this uh, person's page, they've got this here being displayed as the title tag. And um, we see here that all the keywords we've entered in uh, are displayed and uh, are bolded here, shown in bold. And if we load up, you can see that this is the page. And uh, Take a look at the uh, page source. You'll see that title tag here says free guitar lessons for the absolute beginner. So we typed in the keywords uh, free guitar, free beginner guitar lessons, free beginner guitar lessons. So as you can see, those words were used up. All right, now the other thing we're going to go through is the uh, meta tag. So in this case, we can see that the meta tag here used um, is online guitar lessons. Everything you need to be everything you need to be a monster guitar player. That's the description meta tag. The next one here is the uh, keywords meta tag, which he's got uh, free guitar lessons, beginner guitar lessons, online guitar lessons. Generally, you can, uh, if you want to go through the meta tags, then you can um, stuff them with a whole bunch of keywords if you wanted to. Um, things with synonyms and such. I generally don't place too much effort on them, probably about uh, one, two minutes maximum on uh, all meta tags in total. And what you really want to focus on is just to make sure that the uh, title tag has all the... Uh, I bas basically, you just want to make sure that it uh, has a very concise version of uh, what your website has to offer, a concise description of what your website has to offer. Um, I generally wouldn't recommend having um, just uh, the name of, I guess, the website, so the site name. On, uh, as the title tag for um, every page unless uh, you're really trying to um, emphasize branding. So uh, yeah.